Welcome back everyone to another Aquilas Getting Started video. In our last video we talked about sharing static secrets and in this video we're going to go into encryption keys. Now generally speaking there are two types of encryption technologies, encryption keys out there. There are symmetric keys and asymmetric keys. Now symmetric keys, for example the AES version, which is what we're going to show today, is a symmetric key and that uses the same actual key to encrypt and decrypt the data that you want to uh, to store. So that is something that's generally used internally because we don't want to have the chance that somebody might catch that uh, set, uh, secret key and use it to encrypt or decrypt your data. And the next type of key is called an asymmetric key, for example, like an RSA key, where there's a public key that's created on some uh, some location, some machine, for example, and we use the secret key, our private key, in order to decrypt the data. Now, that's something that's used more uh, for uh, other types of encryption and decryption, which is generally more open that you want to uh, sort of share the public key with someone and you don't want to be able to let anyone see the values, but it's okay if they see the public key, it's just not okay if they have access to the private key. Now, uh, the way a keyless DFC works is it actually helps you create, uh, it's a patented technology that allows you to create uh, encryption keys which initially are created in a fragmented way. So it's multiple fragments that are initially created uh, on multiple uh, cloud uh, locations. And those fragments are used to encrypt and decrypt the data, but they are actually never combined at any point in time. So they're created already in pieces and they are never combined even when you encrypt or decrypt your data. Okay, so let's go ahead back into our uh, console here. And what we're going to do is go ahead and get started by creating an encryption key from the UI. So in order to create an encryption key, just click on new, create encryption key there, and we'll create a DFC key. Classic keys is another topic we'll get into a bit later, uh, where you saw here, we talked about, uh, we didn't talk about it, we saw it here, classic keys. And that's for encryption keys that are already created that you want to then use uh, with your Achilles setup, uh, but you need to import into Achilles to use, uh, and you connect it using classic keys. Okay, so let's go ahead to create our first DFC key. We'll call it my DFC key one, and we're going to keep it in this main location. We've spoken about folders and how they work. We'll just keep it here because as an admin, I'd rather have this more secure and only kept in my environment and then shared as necessary. So I'm going to go ahead and enable AES-256, uh, and we will talk about a customer fragment in a later video. That is something for more security as well. And then there's an option to auto-rotate this key and uh, any type of interval. Um, for example, we can only do it until 365 days. Uh, so we're not going to auto rotate it at this point. We'll click finish and we have our key created. Now, what we can do here is actually rotate the key by just clicking a button. And once we click on it, you can also see that it was rotated already here in the previous versions. And we can also use it to already encrypt and decrypt some data. So here's our plain text. This is cool. We'll go ahead and encrypt it grab that ciphertext, we'll just copy it. This is just for an example, of course, you're not gonna use it in this method, but just to show quickly how it works there, we went and decrypted it and we got our plain text here. Okay, so let's go ahead into our terminal and we'll show how this can be done uh, through the terminal as well, through the CLI. So if we go ahead in the docs, it's a good way to always get started. You have the encryption key section, and we'll go ahead and create another AES-256 key. Go ahead and copy that uh, line of code, and we'll call this minus N is for the name, so my DFC key 2. Simply hit enter, and it will create that key for us. There we go. We have it now created, and just to 
confirm will go ahead and refresh that here and there's my DFC key too. Now let's say we want to rotate it by just doing a keyless rotate key and giving the name of the key. So keyless rotate key minus n my DFC key 2. Hit enter and there you go it was rotated and there is the second version new version number two. Going back to the UI we'll hit refresh and you will be able to see the previous versions here. Again, same same idea. And what we're going to go ahead and do now is actually encrypt and decrypt some data using our CLI. So we go back to the docs here. We go ahead to the section on encrypting and decrypting. And we'll just go ahead and grab this command here. Paste it in there. Again, the same name that we want to use in this case, my DFC key 2. And we'll encrypt some text. We'll say, this is cool. Okay, that will give us the cipher text. And the next thing we're going to do is grab the decrypt command. And what we're going to do is put the cipher text into here. Okay, so we're going to grab that from here, paste it in, make sure we have the correct name as always, my DFC key 2, and we will be able to see the decrypted plain text. And normally this wouldn't be used just with the uh, manually, we would actually use this mostly probably with some sort of automation and uh, that means you can use one of our many SDKs to do that. So for example, we go to the encrypt uh, API reference here and you can see you have all these different languages, these different various SDKs that Achilles offers uh, in order to uh, test out and run that in your code. And the last thing we're going to do is go ahead and run a command to list the information about a specific key, encryption key in this case, uh, just to see the details of it. We can go run a keyless describe item minus n my DFC key two, and it will go ahead and give us a nicely formatted JSON, which talks, gives us information like the item name, uh, its ID, what type of key it is, uh, what the latest version is, and more information. So that is how we do encryption keys, and we will see you in the next video.